Thank you for coming to celebrate my mitzvah here today. My name is Yei Slopkowski and I'm a shliach of the Rebbe in Oakland, California. Our family moved to Oakland a year and a half before I was born. We lived here despite the teaching of the Torah to our fellow Jews and gave them to do more mitzvahs in our vibrant Jewish community. From when I was young, I've actively joined my parents in helping other Jews do mitzvahs, put on tefillin, shake a loaf and esrog, participate in shul, and celebrate Jewish holidays. Being a shliach is my whole life. This is the reason I live here, to help another Jew. Since I was in second grade, I've attended the Shluchim Alman school. It's kind of like Zoom school before that was a thing, when it was still kind of cool. My school's on the computer and my friends live all over the West Coast. I'm lucky if I'm able to meet my teachers and see my friends in person once a year. Therefore, I am very grateful that several of my friends have flown in to celebrate this big day with me. Indeed, it's a very big day for me, the day I become a man. You may be wondering, what really changed on me now that I am 13? Since I was a little boy, I've been doing many mitzvot and Jewish customs. One of the mitzvot that I've always dreamed of doing and can finally do now is putting on tefillin. Why is tefillin a mitzvah that has to wait for a boy to reach the age of our mitzvah? Well, after learning about how tefillin are made, the holiness they represent, and the importance of maintaining holiness of mind and body, I understood that they are too precious to be handled by young children who might not know how to look after them. The boxes are made from the hide of a kosher animal, containing parts of the Torah written on a parchment. They are handmade using ink and a feather by a scribe, known as a sofer. In the Torah it says, Ukshartem lo'os le'yadecha v'hayu te'tavvich b'yinenecha You shall tie them as a sign on your arm and a sign as between your eyes. Most of the details of how to put on and make the fillin were passed down as oral tradition from Moshe at Sinai. They have to be square, hand-painted in black, and the straps have to be made of leather and painted black too. The leather shin protrudes out of both sides of the head to fillin. One shin has three branches and the other has four. Shin is the first letter of Hashem's name, Shakai. We also have a shin in our mezuzos. Inside the tefillin that is placed in the arm, there is one scroll of parchment with the four different passages of the Torah that mention the mitzvah of tefillin, written on just one scroll and put into one compartment. The tefillin of the head have four different compartments in them. The same four passages of the hand tefillin are written on individual parchments, each inserted into its own compartment and placed in a certain order. The Torah is our moral guide. It's the book of values, the manual that tells us what our soul needs, how to look after it, and give us a meaningful life on this earth. The many mitzvahs we perform help us connect our body and soul together and help us connect to Hashem. As bar mitzvah boy, I get to put on tefillin every weekday. Tefillin means connection, acting as a daily moment of soulful connection, bringing to harmony our heart and mind. With the tefillin shorosh that we place between our eyes, close to our brain, and the tefillin shayad, that we tie around their arm, close to our heart. To live a life of values means that sometimes, when the heart and mind are not in sync, it will take inner strength to let the mind guide the heart. Tefillin gives us that strength in the morning, our breakfast for the soul, a booster for a day filled with good choices. I am committed to, and I hope that I can give my neshama, my soul, the best possible journey on earth. One that helps me connect to Hashem with all people, and helps me do my mission to make this world a better place. One that is ready for the coming of Mashiach, and morality and justice will be the way of life for everyone, and the world will be filled with the knowledge of Hashem may be speedily in our days.